Are you interested in learning more about tiny homes? Want to take a tour of this thing? Coming up. All right, guys, I got a special treat for you. I'm headed over to Charlie's house. Uh, this guy is super talented. He's done several renovations for us, and um, he is currently building another tiny home. He actually builds them right in his front yard. We're gonna go ahead and check that out. It's still under construction, but um, we're gonna be able to get a good idea of a lot of the different specs and get uh, ask him a lot of questions about tiny homes in general. Um, this tiny home specifically is built on the trailer chassis, so it does have wheels for easy transport, which is awesome. Um, but we're gonna dig deep with Charlie and, um, and see what else he can provide in terms of information. I think it is still, uh, it's available for sale as well. And, He's got uh, other ones that are gonna be up and coming, so if there's any interest in even buying one, uh, reach out to me or comment below and um, we'll, we'll get you some, some options. All right, we are pulling up. Check this thing out. to Charlie. Charlie! Go see Steve? Go see Steve. Come on, puppy! Oh, where are you going? Where are you going? What's oh, up, man? man? Good to see you. Hey! So what do you want to What's do up? with this thing? Come on, let's go in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Go in the house. Go in the house for right now. I'll let you back out and hold it. Alright, she's going tiny. You wanna go <laughs> tiny? Come on, you wanna go into tiny? Let's go. <laughs> Steve, you're tiny? Okay. <laughs> We're working on several different designs um, for the bathrooms. Uh, we want to do uh, what we call one hour shower. Average person uses two gallons per minute. We want you to be able to use two gallons per hour. Wow. It's a filtration system, insta heat. You're basically using your same water, you're running it through filters heating it again, and back out to the shower. Saves you an astronomical amount of water. Interesting. So we're working on Especially that. if you're off-grid or whatever, yes. right? Yeah, we, we think we can do 100% one, off-grid right now with with what we, we've we got. Nice. Literally, composting toilet. Uh, this one this one ain't set up for that. This one's gonna be put it somewhere where you got sewer. You, know, you can do all your hookups. Everything. Uh, we're doing them all smart. Alexa, turn on the kitchen. Nice. Alexa, turn on the fan. That's awesome. So, that, so that we're doing them all smart. Everything run off Alexa. Uh, I can give you a grand tour if you want. You're in the yeah, kitchen. Yeah, do it. Hey, you're in the kitchen. Uh, this is going to actually have cabinets underneath. This is going to be your sitting area where you're going to do your computer work and stuff. A nice view. Makes sense. Uh, the, the, the main cooking area, everything's going to be here. We do have a dishwasher we're putting in. Nice. We'll have our sink. We'll have a two burner induction top here. Uh, cabinet. This cabinet's actually coming there in a refrigerator, full refrigerator. Microwave. Cabinets will be all along the top there. So pretty. It's a pretty decent, big, pretty big kitchen. Pretty big, pretty big kitchen. Uh, back here we have our family room, <laughs> uh, which I have a couch here, which goes out into a bed. If you have a guest that had too much vino, a little pull out couch. Uh, it will have. Uh, it will have a. Uh, it's wired right now for a fireplace and a big screen TV. Awesome. Uh, underneath, underneath here will be your wine 
fridge. And this will have a, uh, uh, a barn door on it. Oh, cool. So it's going to have a barn door, a little different aspect. Yeah. Uh, loft, which also, uh, Alexa, turn on the loft. Okay. Don't. <laughs> Which all the smart they run off switch too. You, right, right. You can do a manual. So a loft. The loft is uh, sl uh, another sleeping area, which is pretty decent size. Let's get up in this loft. Oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry. Should I grab that thing? Still under construction. So how many people does this thing sleep? I think you, you roll out the couch six people. Nice. Uh, comfortably six people. So what can you get up here? A, uh, a queen size. Queen. Queen size mattress. Um, nice. Did you use a tongue and groove for the Actually, that is a, it, that is for a, a, a drop ceiling. Um, really? It's a, it's a real neat design. Uh, all can lighting. We use all can lighting LEDs. You did some good insulation. It's nice uh, and cool in here. Yeah, the insulation's uh, this is the. This is just temporary. We are putting mini split in here. I was going to ask about that. Which yeah. Which mount? Which mount up here? We're wired for that right now. We just uh, have a. You know, once the drywall's in, then we go ahead and put that up. Gotcha. Uh, so that's just a heat temp and air. So you know we could go north and you still have your heat. Still be warm, Plus, man. You'll have your electric fireplace too. That we'll throw some heat. Right. In. Um. What else we got? Uh, what about the materials you're using? Is this just pretty much anything and everything from yeah, Home I've, Depot, uh, Lowe's? Yeah. I, right now on this one, next one we're going to do metal studs. Make it lighter. Make the trailer lighter. Um, and we're going to do foam insulation because, I, I let's be honest, I didn't like doing putting the insulation in myself. Right, right. Yeah. So we're going to foam the next one, uh, which will be... The solar one, major off-grid type design. Yeah, the foam will actually make it probably more sturdy too, right? Yes. Oh, hey, I saw your door. Oh, no. I was just checking to make sure yep. you're in here. Yeah, we're in here. <laughs> Val, come on. Yeah, it's getting there. When a neighbor's checking, <laughs> always, always looking. We're doing a YouTube video. How you doing? Good morning. How are you? What do you think about this thing? I think it's pretty amazing. All right? Yeah. We're wow. It's on. really coming. Right. I can't wait to see the finished product. Yep. I know. Tell me about it. Happy <sighs> Thanksgiving. Yeah. Hey, you too. Bye. Thanks. Bye. Yeah. I'm back out there. Charlie, this is Bell, right? This is Bell. What's up, hey, Bell? This is Bell's tiny house. She thinks it's hers. <laughs> right, this one. Uh, bathroom. Nice. Looks big, like a good size, man. Big bathroom. Uh, wow. It's gonna have a washer dryer combination. Uh, washer dryer combination here with a countertop to a vessel sink. So the ladies have counter space. Right. Uh, we learned that uh, when we stayed in the one. We, uh, up in St. Pete, probably had a little mirror, a little tiny mirror. So it's going to be a mirror, uh, plenty of room for 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 all their all their stuff. This one has regular toilet. Nice. Uh, the shower is here. Pretty big, decent sized shower. It's going to have a rain head, which um, you know, it's just, pretty tall in here just too. Just room. Yeah, we 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 we. we we actually lifted this because we needed we needed we were feeling a little bit right. cramped. Right. Yeah. Uh, as a pocket. This door. doesn't feel cramped at all, even out in the living room, and even the loft seems pretty I high. Wait, wait till you see the master the master bedroom. <laughs> uh, pocket door. Nice. Safe space. Definitely yeah. Safe space. Um, this, Closet. If you're if you're wondering this this piping here, it goes down underneath the staircase. Which is uh, also smart. Uh, it runs off a thermostat up in the bedroom. Cold air drops. Uh, we were concerned with putting our closet here that we weren't going to get a good flow. So we put this in. 
thermostat kicks it on the fan pumps brings the air, up. air up nice i'll show you the vent i made for yeah that, which is which was pretty neat that's clever uh, we uh we were originally going to put a tub in here tub and shower Bubba yelled at me, uh, hey, you don't have a broom closet, a closet for towels, anything. I right. Mean, yeah, you got a point. I guess we'll make it a walk-in shower. Uh, the shower itself is going to be, uh, there's not going to be any tile. It's going to be uh, epoxy. Epoxy, it'll look like, it'll actually look like we have marble walls, marble ceiling, marble floor. Right on. But it's all, it's all epoxy. Got it. It'll be uh, just for weight. We did it for weight. Uh, we didn't want a tile. The only tile will be on the backsplash in the in the kitchen. Right on. So, uh, what else? Uh, That's clever with the ventilation system. Yeah. Because I was thinking exactly that. If you have the mini split yeah. up here, you know, how are you really going to get the yeah. the heat or the cold over on this side? And we did that. When we put we put the wall up there. We actually didn't put anything on the back side. So there's cracks. So just any type of movement. Uh, but we. We knew we had to pump, pump some air up there, and it, it works out really well. Yeah, I believe it. Uh, master bedroom. You can grab this, Steve. <laughs> Which uh, we're gonna change that up a little bit, move it up a little bit. Just hey, you can pump. still stand up here too, huh? Oh yeah. Damn. You can put on your pants. <laughs> True. Your pants. Uh, queen bed this way. Okay. TV over there. So you'll be able, we're actually gonna have three TVs in this one. Cool. Uh, closet here, I, I actually modified these cabinets to go up here just for storage. Uh, this will actually, we'll run a bar here. And if you can see, we open, we kept that open. Yeah, just, get some ventilation just, through. Just to move the air through, finish it on this side. You know, there's things, certain little things you gotta do. Um, uh, if we're gonna put a bar here, just for, straight out down for hanging clothes. Smart. Uh, we check dresses and shirts and everything. You still have plenty of room. It's almost four foot, so it's a lot. Um, and what'd you say? You can get a. You're gonna put a queen right here. Yeah. Queen, queen size right here, which I'll actually uh, uh, fold up on, on hydraulic, uh, so you can store underneath. Oh uh, yeah. So, nice. But it, it, this is this is a nice plus. You know, this is your best. Oh, this is huge. Uh, you can definitely uh, stand up in the loft. I mean, this. Yeah. So what? What about DOT? I know um, when we talked, when you, when I first came out here, I mean, it looks completely different. It looks awesome. Um, that you had like uh, there's certain height that you have, yeah. right? Yes. What? Tell us about that. That your, your maximum height here lot is 13.6. We're 13.3 with this one. We do have. We are wider. It is going to require a permit. What I've been told is like two hundred dollars to trans to transport this uh, for that permit. You don't need a follow vehicle or anything. You just need a wide load sign. Gotcha. Because we are we're almost a foot wider. Uh, the the standard ones that, that a lot of them are building, you can go like this, almost touch the walls. Right, they're, right. They're really narrow. We would we <clears throat> this this trailer I bought. It was wider. Like I was he didn't have a special permit he was just using it got it uh, we are you know a foot so six inches on each side uh makes a huge difference though and on the you on the building it, yeah it, itself exactly it, does, it makes it a lot bigger um i do not feel enclosed or claustrophobic or anything right I mean, it, this, this is, we call it livable yeah i mean this this one you it truly is you could live in this like you have your separation you know, it's, you're down there watching tv somebody could be up here watching tv still you're still far enough away uh privacy you know you you get yeah. guests or whatever you still you still got your privacy over here um it's more private than uh bbt studios right yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, here's my bet actually for it for there oh uh, the got it got it and all that does is just push pushes the air up in here uh, you know, I'm gonna assume, I'm gonna assume that you, you know, we're gonna lay here. Uh, what else? Uh, what? Um, I guess maybe we'll discuss this outside. But what is what is it built on? Uh, this is actually on a gooseneck trailer. Gooseneck uh, we're, trailer. We're, we're 32 feet long. 
So you would need a, like a fifth wheel or something yes. to pull this, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Tr uh, yeah. Like a, a bigger truck. Definitely right. a bigger truck. We're, we're guessing we're going to finish out at about 12,000 pounds with this one. Got it. Okay. So it's, you know, it's, it's pretty heavy. The advantage of a gooseneck though, you've got turning, uh, you know, easier turning with it and everything. Right. We pull it, uh, uh, it pulled up here with a three quarter, uh, three quarter ton Ford, you know, 250 or 2500 Ford pickup and it was fine and at the end of the day this isn't meant to be moved right. around like an RV or anything no. this is meant to yeah. drop and if you had to move it, you could yeah. but yeah the last one we did they actually it moved cut the axles off cut the tongue off it was a regular trailer and that was it it's permanent and that one went to like North, North Carolina, Carolina or something right yes. yeah cool it does get it does get inspections um, we with national code we do it via skype so they have a recording of it which is really nice for if somebody does buy it they can uh they get the uh the fob of the inspections and everything you want to hang a picture on the wall or something you're like, oh i have plumbing behind there you know i better not i better not right right so there is inspections on it um actually the co the company that inspecting this was just in tallahassee uh doing doing a, a answering questions to legislatures about tiny houses with the zoning and stuff it's important that these homes are actually being able to be put out and available for the public and you know maybe not necessarily deed restriction deed restricted communities because right. it could hurt values of other properties but um i think this is the wave of the future i think a lot of people are trying to be more financially sound and fiscally responsible and this is one way to do it right. speaking of that what could somebody buy like this finish done out the door this finish uh, i say it's gonna have a lot of top end yeah finishes once it's gonna have uh, hardwood floors uh, uh it's probably gonna go for around a hundred thousand the last one we did was just sold for seventy three thousand on site in north carolina got it uh, but a lot smaller a lot simpler right yeah. right so got it but this one probably probably around a hundred thousand all our research we've been doing we should be right there in the ballpark and you went to what did you go to a tiny home festival or something? i've been to festivals i've been i've been all over we actually stayed in a tiny house uh, up in st pete they have them you can rent them see if you like them uh which is a pretty neat place up there what's up what are you being all angry yeah, for? That's just, that's your idea. Huh? It's right in my tiny house. Huh? Huh? <laughs> um, Let's check out the outside of this thing. Definitely. Come on. Go ahead, Bill. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. It's down. <laughs> Can't climb this thing yet. Even the stairs are easy to get up and down. Those would be, uh, those are going to be carpet. Those are going to stain. Dude, I'm really looking forward to this being completed and this guy, seeing the yeah, final product. Good. So tell us about the outside, the chassis, it's all that kind of stuff. Yeah, the chassis is pretty heavy duty, uh, gooseneck, which you can tell by, by the hookup of that as the two. Yeah, tell people what a gooseneck is. There's a, there, there's a difference between the fifth wheel and the gooseneck. The goose, the, the fifth wheel has a uh, flat puck like uh, like a hockey puck, which goes in uh, typically not as strong. Uh, the, the gooseneck has a ball that actually goes up underneath here. It's a two two and a half inch ball right. that goes up underneath there. It locks it a little bit better for what you're pulling here. Uh, we, we, we changed this one up. We added the framing for the bedroom uh actually this will be this is going to get uh panels uh uh three inch foam panels put underneath here for their insulation it up for insulation uh it still will still will crank up and down uh we did we decided we needed uh outside yeah water smart so uh, me myself if I was living this this would be my little storage area under here because I walk under here no problem I can build shelves you know close it in yeah no doubt that'd be good could even do a little shower out here yeah we did um, we did the cedar shake shingles 
on the whole thing. Uh, really made the neighbors mad when we started painting it. Really? They were cedar. Yeah, yeah, I saw some of the pictures I, before. Yeah, we, I'll give you a picture of that, which was neat. The next one we're actually going to do, we're going to clear the cedar. We're going to keep it cedar. Got it. Uh, we are going to do that. Uh, the all, cedar will last forever. I mean, you're, that's all termite resistant and everything, right? Yep. Uh, all, that, all the lower windows in, in this are impact windows. Oh, nice. Uh, we, the, upper, the upper windows, because I needed the size in the bedrooms, the certain sizes that I wanted are not impact, but the lower ones are all impact. Uh, just what I ended up doing because I wanted those sizes. Uh, well, and that's for safety too. That's Yeah, that's pretty good. Pretty awesome yeah, in terms of breaking in or whatever, and it'd be kind of difficult to get up there and yeah. smash through that anyway. Uh, we decided to do a little step there just to give it a little bit of a uh, different look. Architectural uh, design. The roof uh, is going to be a 5V metal roof which we haven't installed yet uh, just because it's been summer it's right hot. Uh, so now now it's cooling down we'll go ahead and get that on uh, it's got 30 pound felt on it right now which is it's all uh, dried in yeah yeah definitely dried in every day <laughs> uh, definitely uh, definitely these axles that we have under here are, are real heavy duty we thought about adding the third axle we checked everything out we we don't believe we need a third axle under there. Yeah. No, should be fine. Um, the uh, solar, right? Yeah. Here's some solar. We're just playing with uh, some ideas right now. It's actually running uh, the right side of of the tiny house because uh, I have a I have a little bit of setup here where I could have power so I can work at night and stuff in there with lights and stuff. Right. But we're just testing out some uh, power. It just has a little 750 watt uh, uh, converter there um, for our power. Just doing a little playing around. Uh, so are you going to put the solar in? And... So not on this one. I'm going to gotcha. keep this at 100 amp service. Um, it's just a good way for me to test it. I'm, I'm, I'm just... I have it now. Right. You know, I, I know I know how it works. I know how everything, uh, what I need to do. I'm trying different panels. Uh, these panels actually, with the with the blue light, they uh, they actually charge when there's no sun too. They just need daylight to charge. Really. Which is pretty neat. New Damn. new technology. Um, there's our uh, our mini split. Yeah, our our condenser for our mini split. So what's what's the future of Charlie's tiny homes? We, we're gonna keep building. We're gonna do uh, get into total off-grid living. No wells, no electric, no Wi-Fi. We can bring it all into the tiny homes. Nice, I'm digging it. So what questions do you have for Charlie? Comment below, we'll get those answered for you. And we'll be back probably what? month month and month. a half for the yep. finished product for the finished product so if you guys want to see that comment below as well and we'll uh, we'll give you guys the final tour appreciate you sticking with us